Awesome. And once we're comfortable with React fundamentals, as well as Vite setup, let's finally discuss advanced React topics. So in the following videos, we're going to cover things like React hooks, conditional rendering, fetching data, forms, context API, and a bunch of other cool things. I also prepared quite a few challenges just so we can apply our knowledge right away. And hopefully that way, by the time you're done with the section, you'll be able to apply the concepts while you work on your own applications. So if possible, try not to rush through the content, since such approach very rarely leads to long-term results. In order to follow along, you'll need some assets, and they're located in the same GitHub repo. So my profile, and then you're looking for React course version three. And even if you already downloaded the repo, I suggest repeating that step, since that way you'll get the very latest version. You see, as I'm recording, I tend to update some stuff. For example, read me. So once I'm here, I'm gonna go for download zip option. Then I'm gonna navigate back, look for downloads, crack it open, open up the directory, and then we wanna grab the advanced React folder. So it's up to you, you can work in a main folder, but I always prefer to work in a separate folder. Then I wanna open up the text editor, and right away I'll set it side by side with the browser. Again, this is gonna be the case where I'm gonna choose this option. So let me set them side by side. And basically you'll notice that it's a pretty typical beat project. We just have here some assets. And of course I'll discuss them in more detail in a second. For now, I simply want you to navigate to the readme and in here, effectively you're looking for these commands. Now, if you can run them in your operating system in such manner, awesome. If not, then just run them separately. So I wanna open up the integrated terminal. I'll make this one bigger and then we're gonna go with npm install. And you know what, I'll just run them separately just so you can see that everything works. So we have npm install, so we install dependencies and then we wanna go with npm run and dev. And essentially this again is gonna open up the project on localhost 5173. And yep, we should see a heading two with advanced React. And rest of the info essentially is gonna be located in tutorial markdown file. So this is just a general readme, how we can spin up the project and all that. In tutorial, you'll find effectively all of the info we're going to cover in the following videos. And as far as our workflow, like I mentioned before, this is a traditional Vite application. I just removed some boilerplate and provided some assets like CSS and data and all that, just so we can work on more meaningful examples. And for that, I do need some assets. I also removed the strict mode just so we don't have a bunch of logs. So remember strict mode was adding that extra log and while we're working and essentially exploring stuff, I don't wanna have too many logs. So if you'll take a look at the main JSX, you'll see that essentially everything is the same. There's just no strict mode. In the index CSS, you'll find all of the CSS we're going to use data. This is gonna be some data that we're gonna use in examples. App JSX, so this is going to be our root component. Then we also have some assets here. Again, something that we're going to use during the examples. And there's also public, which by the way, we're not going to use. And of course, there's node modules, which are our dependencies. Now, if we again navigate back to tutorial, you'll see that basically we have this tutorial directory. And in here we have a bunch of folders. So it starts with use state all the way to user doser. And I'm actually working on more topics right now. So probably by the time you install this, you'll see more folders. 
And essentially the idea is following. Each folder is gonna have final and a star. So we will do our work in a star folder. So in there you'll find some files and it really depends. Sometimes there's going to be just a structure for component and sometimes I'll provide already some stuff. So yes, sometimes we'll code pretty much everything from scratch, but if we already have covered that topic and if I just wanna provide some extra info on that, then yes, you'll find already some code in the star. And of course, if this doesn't make any sense right now, you'll see as we start working on the examples. And then in the final, you can find the complete source code. So this one you can use for two examples. Let's say if you wanna compare your code to mine, or you simply wanna see how the feature looks like once it's done. Since again, I will be setting up some challenges. So if you wanna take a peek, how it effectively runs in the browser, then just set up the file. And the way we set up the file is following. So in the app.js, essentially we'll just import that file and then we'll render it over here. Again, you can render both. You can render starter and the final. This is really up to you, but you'll definitely need to get that starter. So pretty much every lecture is gonna have its own starter. So you'll have to import that and set it up over here in the app JSX. And then if you wanna see the final folder, again, it could be any file, just navigate to tutorial. In this case, you're looking for the final one and then whatever file you want. And the reason why you have here this container is simply for some basic styling. So notice how it's nicely sitting in the center. It has some padding and all that. Technically, if you don't want to, you can just remove it and everything's still going to work. And just to showcase, let me just navigate to, let's say, app JSX. Let me move up. Now, the component name is really up to you. I'm just gonna go with starter and final because it just makes a little bit more sense. So I'm gonna go here with import starter. So that's gonna be my component name and then from. And then for now, let me just navigate to tutorial. Then just as a example, I'm gonna go to, let's say use ref. So that's gonna be seven and then starter, like I said, and in there we only have one file. So we grab this one. And for now, let me just remove that heading too. Then let's go with starter. And then let me close the component. So once I save, notice I'll have some code already. So essentially the idea is that we're gonna go to that file. So that is 07 use ref, blah, 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 blah. Over here, starter. And essentially this is where we'll start setting up the logic. And the same is gonna work for all of the files. And like I said, if you wanna see, let's say how the complete code looks like, you can simply take, and you know what, let me close the sidebar. I'll copy and paste over here. And once I'm done with that, I'm just going to rename since we cannot use the same name, correct? So I'm gonna go here with final, and let's also look in the final folder. So let's change things around and let's, look in a different folder, just so you don't think that I'm messing with you. I'm just going to go to, I don't know, maybe use effect, or you know what, let me go to use state. I'll show you a nice list. So let me go to use state. Again, we're looking for final. We're looking for use array. So that's my final. And then as an example, I'll save it here. And then notice we'll have a list and we can remove some items. We can clear them and all that kind of stuff. So hopefully this is clear. Effectively, before each video, I'm gonna show you which file we wanna import. So let's say the first one is tutorial, your state star, and then error example. So we wanna import that in the app JSX. We wanna render it, and then we wanna navigate to that file and start setting up the code together. And again, if you wanna look at any of the final ones, just import the file and render it somewhere here in the app JSX. And effectively my workflow is going to be following. I'll simply keep changing the file name. So let's say if I have this tutorial right now, 
I just go with forward slash your state. And again, I know that all my examples are going to start with starter, and then I'm just going to be changing files. So pretty much you can leave the setup here as it is. You're just changing the path. That's it. That's all you have to do. Unless you want to take a look at the final one, then of course, I already showed you what to do. So let me go to the arrow example. That's the one where we'll start. And notice in this one, we just have a heading two. So in here, we basically will code everything from scratch. Now, a few more things I want to mention. There will be some challenges, like I said, just so we can right away apply our knowledge. So if you keep scrolling, notice you were here, you'll have the first setup challenge. So in the beginning of each video where we have the challenge, effectively, I'll just read it to you. I'll try to explain as best as I can. I might show you the final one just so you can see how it looks like. Again, I'm not going to show you the code, but I'm going to show you how effectively the feature is supposed to act. And if you want, you can work on a challenge. Now, some of them are purposely essentially made to fail. So you'll work on a challenge and I'll right away tell you, hey, you most likely hit this bug because I want you to have a real world experience what triggers the bug. And that way it's going to be easier to remember the possible solutions as well. And one last thing that I want to mention, yes, in the beginning, our examples are going to be with numbers and buttons, just because we need to start with something. Yes, of course, as we progress with the topics, I purposely chose already more complex examples, just so it's not all the time numbers and buttons. But the first few videos, yes, we'll have to utilize numbers and buttons just so we can see the workings of React. Hopefully everything is clear. If not, utilize the course Q&A. And in the next video, we're going to start working on our first example, the error example.